Welcome to another video from the farm. Today, we're building a new track. So as you can see, I've already made a start. Basically, I had to be moving as much as this as possible so I could get as many loads tipped here as possible. That's pretty simple stuff. Basically, putting in 150 meters or so of track. And as you can see, dug a trench out ahead. Oh, there's an injured fox doesn't seem bothered just pottering about by the big old tree there so as I was saying dug out the topsoil down to the sort of hard standing clay type material that's a foot below the surface at this bit of the farm and then now back filling with some of this hogging that you've seen in previous videos I've used which is basically a mix of stones coarse sand, big bits of like sandstone and then some clay so when you can pack this down it almost forms like a rock layer so it's a nice cost effective way to build up the track with a decent layer of stuff underneath compared to filling it all with roadstone got a bucket ready let's go and do some loads as for the first part of this track I'll need to fill in this hogging all the way down to where I'm putting a little culvert in if you're doing a track you can probably do this in a one shot because it's a rare thing you've got a culvert in the middle of a track like I have and then once we've got all this in position layer of geotextile membrane over the top and then a finishing coat of roadstone so it's a drivable surface all year round yeah that's kicking up though so I'll get to it I'll do some loads so back on the track no seconds at all for you but a couple of months for me and we now have a classic example why you always start a job that you finish yeah a lot of growth either side of this track and it's now looking a bit of a mess even though i've just mowed it but we've obviously got a fair bit more hogging to put in and the stone to go on top we're back on this now next job on the list finish the track right let's crack on and i'll start moving this last 80 ton of hogging finish that corner of the track off Just over the halfway point, put the culvert pipes in to connect the drainage ditch to the little bowl area that gets a little bit wet in the winter time. So I quickly did this the other night as well, threw in like 30 sandbags over the top of the culvert pipes. Now we've got a good little bridge across and a nice area any sort of water gathers off the field and drain away through without having to go over the track and then it's only when we have sort of the one in ten year floods or whatever we have any water come through this field so that'll just glide over the top of this straight into the channel the other side and at the same time act as a bit of a flood defence for down river as yeah this will obviously slow the flow up having this little mini dam here on this sort of flood field zone can't really see because it's a uh, wildly overgrown on this side but i've sort of been doing a similar thing but out of natural material which i sort of decided to do because the river trust have built a few smaller ones a bit further down the drainage channel there but i thought we'll put a big one in at the top end and they thought that was a good idea too so i basically had the digger push a lot of old wood, various big logs and twigs and stuff, all in, you can sort of see the top of it there, the, into a bit of a beaver dam almost, so again when it does build up water back on this side, slows it right down there, so then this will pull for a day or two, and slow down, oh, God knows, millions of gallons of water I would say behind it, even though it will only be sort of three inches difference to where it was originally. Not far, just this corner left to fill in basically with this hogging, then we'll get the membrane down, then we'll put the top dressing of stone on, and then we're basically done. So let's crack on another hundred loads and we'll be there. <coughs> Oh, 
So that's all the hogging in now. Last sort of job before we can finish the track with a stone. Put this membrane down. Now you've probably seen all this before. It's basically just like a, a weed barrier membrane, woven cloth it is. It's pretty thin stuff. But putting this on top of the hog in before we put the stone will mean that the stone doesn't sort of press into the bottom layer as much. And we should have a much harder wearing top surface, hopefully. So it's just a case of rolling this big roll all the way down there now, as this should be the width of the track. The uh, little Kubota tractor is out of action, something up with the fuel, I think it's the injector pump. It's maybe got blocked up with a bit of crud somehow, as it had been a long time since checked the uh, fuel filter. Lack of maintenance and all that. So now, just hand filling up the old dumper and tipping it and then spreading it by hand. So, a bit of a, 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 a laborious process, but getting there. Just need to basically get this corner done enough that the wagon can turn around the corner and then maybe start tipping as they drive or just get it all here ready for when I've got the tractor fixed. So uh, yeah, got some of that spread out. But uh, main delivery of this recycled hardcore has come a day early for my friend's farm. So he's managed to tip it roughly as he goes with the tractor trailer. Very capable machine, as you can see, that's well, I'll stand up on it. I don't know if you can quite tell, but that's like two foot, that is different side to side. And the tractor's had sort of no problem bobbling along all this, tipping as he goes. So I'm going to cheat, basically, not do it all myself. Get him to do this all the way along with two more loads. And then he's going to come back with his little cat loader thing and uh, quickly level it all out for me. So by the end of today, this track should be done. Obviously, I've been building it myself as much as possible because I'm doing this video to sort of show you it is easy enough to make your own road. It's not a huge task. It's just one that requires a good amount of time, effectively. And, uh, yeah, I would say, though, if you've got the option for your sort of farm or homestead or little land, whatever you're doing, if you can get someone in who's capable of sort of tipping stuff as they drive, that's definitely the best option. And also, if you can get someone who's got machines to level it out at the same time, that's kind of ideal scenario. Because what would have taken me probably two days or something to move, if it was all in piles, like I had the hogging in, it'll take literally an hour with the big machine to sort all this out, especially now as he's half spread it out by tipping it. Yeah, so sort I've of, uh, just walked back inside to get the GoPro. As you can see, we've got Dave and the cat telehandler thing there. And he's already pretty much smoothed it out with one pass, just driving it forward like a bit of a plough. So this is probably going to take him 10 minutes and we've got half the track in here. baby she's in so yeah a little tractor broke so i had to cheat a little bit and get my mate's big old man or two with a two meter bucket to push out most of this as you can see 
track's complete now. Because it's a bit of a pal, it's only actually cost me 50 quid extra in machinery for him to bring his thing over and do this. I literally just paid for the hour of the man and the fuel. And I have to say, the heavy machine on top has pushed it in nicely also, so we've got a real good hard wearing surface already. So I hope this quick video has given you a few ideas on how sort of relatively easy it is to make a road or a track yourself. And if you can have a go, follow some of the steps I did and you should get there, no problem. But I would recommend if you can afford it, just get someone in with a big machine straight away to level it all out for you. It'll take them a couple of hours tops, whereas it'll probably take you a few days, maybe a week. Till next time, bye bye.